Hey traders, in this video, I want to share with you, I put this on my Facebook for my private traders, but I want to share something with you that is going to really, really, really help you out when sort of seeing where we are in this market right now. And as you can see, I'm looking at the 2008 Dow Jones and 2016 Dow Jones and how they're very, very similar. So let's get straight into it. Do not place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video today because trading is risky and it can cause substantial financial loss. There are so many areas you need to become good at to become a good trader. Emotional mastery, chart reading, trading systems, money and trade management. So this video is just educational only to help you become a much better trader. All right, so we're gonna look straight into this chart right now and I wanted to bring this chart up with you to share with you again because when we're looking at this chart, it's really interesting that on this chart here, there's a few things that's happening that's, that's telling us about the top in place. And, and I really do believe the top is in place. And in fact, yeah, I'll, I'll just keep it with that there. <laughs> um, so as you can see here, guys, is that when you get, it, when you get a top in markets, top in markets, you generally start to get a rounding top, like a head and shoulder formation, but it doesn't happen on the daily chart. Okay, daily chart can give you a little multiple head and shoulders, but over time, if you can get if you can get like a rounding top, like you see here in two thousand eight, then that's when you start to see some significant move. Now, uh, as you can see, even though we had significant move, we had a significant move down here, and then we went sideways for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We went sideways for two for two months. And then we got hammered. Okay, so even though we did get uh, have the 2008 crash, um, you can see exactly where this is at right now when it comes to the 2008 crash. So, looking at this overall market, guys, and looking at uh, looking at this chart here, you can see how it's got an overall round head and shoulders. But you can see here that we've got this one, two, three, three small little head and shoulders, and then you've got this one, two, three big head and shoulders before the market started coming off during the year. Now, if you go over to what we're experiencing right now, let me see if I can just change that color there. So you can see here that we have a, what we have a one, two, three, we have a smaller head and shoulder formation. And you can see here that we have this one, or if I just do this, we have this left shoulder, this big head, and this big right shoulder. That to me is a big, big, big topping pattern. And not only that guys, not only that, if you actually have a look at this move, and let's actually do this here. If you have a look at the move from, from here to where, where it is right now, down here, okay? If you have a look at that move, then what you can see is you can see that if you measure, if you actually measure the move itself, you can see here from this move from here to here, Generally, if the market starts to retrace 50 or 60, 60 especially 61.8, 61.8 and more to the downside, then that's actually classed as a very, very weak, very weak signal in the markets. And you can see here that we're almost actually at the lows, especially on the Dow Jones chart of this chart here. So that's actually showing that there's another weakness here. One, we have the weakness of the big rounding top here, and secondly. We're starting to close below the 50 and the 61.8, and we're starting to close below that, which is actually showing a lot more, you got it, a lot more weakness in the market. So I just wanted to share this chart with you guys to, to show you, you know, and I'm saying again and again and again and again that, you know, this video is all about me saying that I believe we're now getting ready to start heading back down to 1300, even 1200 on the Dow Jones. So anyway guys, that's a little update for today. Uh, although actually let me just share this with you. Let me see let me see if I can just bring this over here. Uh, I'll just do this little from here to here. So I'll bring that over. There we go from there to there. Alright, so a little quick update from today's action guys. You can see like a basically a bit of a doji day. Um, we basically yeah we sort of ran up. We actually spent most of the day to the downside and then we spent Time closing to the high side. The S and P 500, same thing again. The S and P 500 is actually at the, at its lows right now. The Russell, Russell is just the weakest out of the whole lot. 
nothing unusual there. And the Nasdaq too. Nasdaq gapped open and spent time to the downside. But if you have a look, if you have a look at the hourly chart on these, and we go back to the say S and P five hundred, you can see what's actually happening on the hourly chart here. So you can see that on the hourly chart we had this sort of lower peak, lower trough, lower trough, lower peak lower trough lower peak and so now we're starting to try to form a little high trough here so once again it goes back to the peaks and troughs right so we we're actually due for a pullback i've been saying that for a while now but we are we're out due for a pullback but here's the thing is this market so weak that i i do think we're going to get a pullback now it may not happen here we may go down and then up okay i must make myself clear there okay <laughs> and uh and I don't know what's happening on the markets right now, and you just don't know what's what's going to happen. But we are due for a pullback, and I do believe we're likely to get some sort of a pullback um, before we head down. Okay, so this video is all about saying that even though I do think we're likely to get a pullback, I am not buying the market. Do not buy this market because any any rally is likely to be short lived, and we're likely to get hammered to the downside. Makes sense. And same with the Dow Jones as well too. Dow Jones, you can see here, it's trying to hold here as well too. But again, very, very, very weak. I wouldn't be buying into this at all, guys. Um, and same with the Russell, and obviously same with the Nasdaq as well too. Nasdaq, a bit of a double bottom. But again, guys, I would not be buying into this market because you just don't know. This is very, very, very weak. You don't know when we're gonna get the rally. We will get the rally, and we will get a, a nice, decent rally coming out of this. You don't know when that's gonna happen. Um, I got a sort of a suspicion that if I just draw a trend line from there to there, and then if I just draw, say, a trend line from there to there, so to speak, and I drew like a little little parallel trend line, and we connected up through the lows through there, I would say if we started breaking out, if we started holding at these levels through here, so you can see on the Dow Jones how that's the low through there, and we're holding at that level. If we did hold here, and we did start to get a nice close, uh, above this trend line here, then it does look like it may want to have some nice movement to to the high side. So, but here's what I'm saying, guys. Even though we are due for a pullback, this thing can just keep going down and down and down and down and down. So, I'm not saying buy. I'm just saying right now we're ho definitely holding out these levels of support. And even if we do get the rally, it's likely to be short lived over over a couple of weeks. Even if we do get a rally for a couple of weeks, it's likely to be short-lived and we're likely to get hammered once again moving forward into February and March as well too. So that's what I think, guys. Hey, it's John Hal here and thanks so much for watching my video. You see, I'm putting out daily videos and education on helping you learning the art of successful trading. So click on the subscribe button to keep up to date with every video I do. Also, check out my story video, $250,000 in debt, cancer, overweight, family passing away, lived on the streets, and more, and how I overcome it and on and now thriving through my life. This is here to motivate you, so click on that image to watch my video. And lastly, if you're struggling with your trading, then you need to see my latest webinar where I'm sharing with you an amazing strategy that allows you to generate an income without getting the direction right. So click on that image on this page to register for my next free webinar. This is John Howell here. Remember, success can be yours if you go claim it. So step up, take massive action, and face your fears today.